Welcome to another video. Now in this one, we will be exploring how to take care of one plus cosine x as the denominator. It looks a bit simple, but if you, if you, if you get stuck, you don't know how to escape. So one thing I want you to consider is that if I decide to just go ahead and say let u be one plus cosine x, if I differentiate one plus cosine x, I'm gonna get sine x. Well, I'm going to end up with sine x showing up and then there will be u. It's now a combination of u and sine x. Nothing is cancelling anything out. So that would be a bad substitution. So the best thing to do is for you to find a way to rewrite cosine x. We have to just look for a way to write cosine x. If we rewrite it in a way, we can see one plus something because these are trig identities, you might be able to find some trig identities to use. So let's just start one way of rewriting cosine x in another way. And a very common way uh, for integration techniques would be for you to say, x is probably twice another angle, which will be, say, theta. So we can start with, say, let x be equal to 2 theta. That makes a lot of sense. It means we can rewrite this as 1 plus cosine 2 theta. And from trig identities, there's things we can do um, with cosine 2 theta. Yeah. So let's, let's just figure this out. So it means dx is going to be 2 d theta. So we can just go here and replace it and rewrite this as 2 theta. So we can write, um, this implies um, that we have 1 over 1 plus cosine 2 theta dx will be 2 d theta. Okay? Um, what can this become? We're not sure. But I know that this is easier to work with because of this one, we can express this as the square of cosine and somehow we'll figure it out. Let's, let's just see, okay? So this is gonna be, this two can come all the way here. That's gonna be two integral of one over one plus cosine two theta d theta, which, um, what is cosine two theta? We don't know, but remember that cosine 2 theta is equal to cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. Or you can say that it is cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta itself is 1 minus cosine squared theta. Let's get that cleaned up. Okay? Is 1 minus cosine squared theta. So which means if you resolve this, you're going to end up with 2 cosine squared theta uh, minus 1. So, it means we can replace... Oh, it looks good now. We can just go here now and replace this expression with 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. I said so. Okay, these numbers are easy to deal with. So, we can go back here and say that the integral we're dealing with, actually, is the integral is 2 integral of 1 over 1 plus, instead of writing cos 2 theta now, we're going to write 2 cosine squared theta minus 1, 2 cosine squared theta minus 1 d theta. So, and that leads us to, well, 1 minus 1 is 0, so what we have left is just um, 2 integral of 1 over 2 cosine squared theta d theta and that would be equal to 2 this 2 goes out here that's 2 over 2 okay integral of 1 over cosine squared theta d theta well this is 1 they both cancel out and what's left is integral of secant squared theta d theta which would be equal to tan theta plus c. That looks a lot easier than I thought. Okay, so it's tan theta plus c. 
and that's it. But uh, the question wasn't about theta, the question was about x. So what is theta? Theta is x over 2. So we're just going to come here and replace this. That's it. If you learned anything, make sure you leave a positive comment in this in the comment section. Make sure you like the video and you share it. Tell your friends about it and make sure that you don't stop learning because those who stop learning have stopped living. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.